Hey guys, and welcome back to another video. Today, Dad, it is a preview for the Blackburn game, but we'll quickly go over the Oxford game first. What are your thoughts then on the Saturday's game? Well, without a shadow of a doubt, I have to say, it blew me away. Um, Oxford did everything about it. The support was fantastic. The area was good. Lots to see, lots to do. Game. Now, listen, I, I think it was very much a, a game of two halves for me. I, I came away, though, feeling extremely frustrated, and I think that... Typical album, a game of two halves, as I say, and the second half, it's almost as if I didn't know any better. I'd say they sat back, thought, you know what, we can steam, we can have this one nil, shut up shop. But they did anything but. And when we came into the added time, everybody knew what was going to happen. So it's probably my expectations. I know we're not going to steamroll everybody, and I thought that I did feel, and, I, and it's not. I don't want to be negative about that, Oxford, but I thought they were a one-trip pony kind of. If they, they just hoofed the ball up or got the ball to their... Yeah, I, I can see what you Would it work from? No, I completely agree with what you're saying <coughs> there. I think when you look at the whole day as a whole, I think many people have seen before the game thinking, oh, then I'm not too sure about Oxford, the actual stadium and whatnot. But I was quite impressed, actually. I was really impressed with the whole setup they have there. And the fans are really, really it's nice the only, to us. Sorry to put in, it's the only ground I've been to where you don't have to pay for parking. Yeah, it's really good, and isn't it? it's brilliant. Yeah. And, it, uh, the, and all about the entertainment stuff around. Well, I thought that quality, quality, quality I thought everybody associated with, with, with Oxford, the club, were brilliant, the official. We'll talk about the referee in a minute, but the people outside the park, it was all stress free. Yeah, so for the hour, I mean, it's a lot different. Um, but I'll go into the game. In my, in my opinion, with the game, Dad, I think many people have been a bit negative saying that we didn't look as good as we realistically need to be. And don't get me wrong, we weren't as good as we normally are, but we were winning for the majority of the game because of the quality that we had in that first half. And if we played like we did in that, I would say, the second part of the first half, most games, then we do win them. I think realistically speaking, we did dominate against a team like Oxford. They we did, were the they better did, side by far. Yeah, they didn't have the quality players that they, I think they know they don't have in the championship. But as I said, that's what they're going to try and do. They're going to try and make it into a scrap. And because of making it into a scrap, we're going to drop down to that level. And then that's the reason why they're going to get back into the game. And why we sat off, I'm not too sure about. Because realistically speaking, we could see in the second half, all we needed was that second goal. And the fact we didn't get that second goal was the reason why we didn't win the game. I think. Josh's dad for me summed it up perfectly. It's a case if they were tailor made for us, if there was a team tailor made for us to beat, it was them and we didn't. And I just don't understand why. But come here, here's what is some good good information for you. This would you believe? Go on. This week marks the uh, excuse me, <coughs> marks Carlos's two years in charge. Is it? Wow. But worryingly, right? If we lose at Blackburn Rovers, which by the way we won't. It's going to be an un unwanted record of, of, of uh, probably the, the most it's not about consecutively. Well, the most, uh, what, no wins in five, is it? Like that. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah. I think, I wouldn't say we've been shocking. I just feel like we're just missing something at the moment. And I feel many people said, I think when they scored that goal on the week in Oxford, we maybe had a lack of presence going into winning the ball and one ahead. We took off Rasic, we took off Madger. That straight away takes off the height in the team. And I, I think, just don't think I think I could be wrong about this. I'm pretty sure that's the first goal we've um, let in from a set piece from a long throw, for example, for quite a while. So realistically, I don't think it's doom and gloom around the Abbey at the moment. I think we're just unlucky realistically not to stick on for the three points because a bit of I mean a bit of a bit of, a bit of luck, yes, but fair play to Oxford, they stayed in the game and they got that goal because we didn't push on for that second. Was it? Was it due to the fact that Corbin made these substitutions that many people are saying, the fact that why didn't we have a strike on the bench, why did Van take hold? While I definitely agree with that, again, it's, it's the manager's choice at the end of the day, he, the Van take hold might not be good enough to play week in, week out, which but is the reason. Happened? Exactly. But that's the reason why he's not going to be starting. Or like get on, on the bench, for example. And I, I was I'm going to bring on to the topic of Jed Wallace. What were your thoughts on his performance? Because a lot of people on I social media have been very, 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 very disappointing. Very, very disappointed. In fact, I'm, I've got I, I've got some stuff to go through. To be honest with you, because I think that our, our main goal is to get into the Premiership. If we get into the Premiership, and play like we'll get ripped apart. We, now is a time right where we need to concentrate and focus. We need to be clinical. We need to be brave. We needed somebody, right, like a young Carl Bartlett, to command the back. And uh, uh, for me, what was our, our, our get out of jail point or, or our major plus was the defence. It was rock solid. But saying that, we've got to be really careful because you were slaying semi to me. I was, yeah. yeah I, think, I, I, right? I actually think he's got a lot more to offer. 
Now, listen, we should have took that game by the scruff of the neck and it should have been done and dusted by half time. Now, I'll tell you something, uh, it's really interesting some, some of the, uh, the comments that, that, that have, um, you've had to do with the vlog. And I, th I think the comment of, of, the, of the weekend would go to John Wainwright. He says, what, why have we got Callum Styles? We worked hard to get him. And we ain't even doing it. He isn't even playing. And I'll tell you what, this is the, this is the one for me. He's hit the nail on the head because I was thinking exactly the same thing. So well done, John. Is something's not right within the album. Something is going on. Yeah. And you know what I think it is? And I'll talk to you about it. Go on. I think it coincides. Uh, 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 let's just say dipping forward coincides with the change of the coaches. Yeah, I remember you said this to me at Michael Halfway, was yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It could be a bit of positivity, the fact that's going to be a bit more fun out of the game to yes. like more serious. Kind of serious. Yeah. I mean, yeah. it's, don't, don't get me wrong, it is a serious business, but I think he played the, he played the good cop. I'm not saying Carlos is the bad cop, but cop, you can see Carlos is absolutely right to focus. And he's come out today, by the way, and said, you know, we have got to find a way to, to, to bring some creativity and to resolve this no, problem. No, we have. See, this is where I come back to Jed Wallace, and don't get me wrong, I didn't think he had the greatest of games, but, but, he was doing the right thing as well. He was sort of going down to the corner, putting the ball in the box, and what I noticed was, I think it was, if you remember going back, guys, I know it's going back quite a while now, so the game was like Sheffield Wednesday at home, and your Middlesbrough uh, away, when I think it was the um, first game for Jed Wallace and Swift, and he was pulling the ball back, trying to pull him back every time. I think that's what they were in training a like, lot, pull the ball back onto the edge of the box for someone to score. But there, sometimes, you've got to be a bit different as a player and just put a normal ball in the box. Because that's what we think he did twice, and they got caught out twice because of it. And then, realistically speaking, going to their goal as well, we were really negative towards it. Yeah. We won a free kick in their half, yeah. and we've gone back. And because of that, we've given the ball away, given a throw in away, and they've equalised. I keep on saying about fine margins, we had enough opportunities to finish that I mean the, I think it was Hegem who had two glorious opportunities mind you I thought a good game there yeah, I did but I'll tell you what let's, 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 let's get it out of here right Oxford were alright they give us the, that, you know we, we they're there to be beaten and we didn't beat them exactly so I, 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 th I think a lot of credit has got to go to Colin Grant I think oh, his yeah. goal was yeah. brilliant I, thought I, think he was, I think that he was getting the fruits of his labour and I think you know something we've got a secret weapon in him because if his confidence and his desire continues, he could be what we're looking for. Exactly, definitely. I think he's a lot better on the left side rather than up front. And one player who realistically for me, Dad, is not annoying me, but you can see there's something there and he's just shoot. It's Dean Garner. I think there's a couple of chances where all realistically just have a shot on goal. And I think many people in the comment section have put, why didn't we just have a shot rather than pissing about with it around the box? And because of that, I think realistically, if we had a shot, we could have maybe got two or three in that first half. I'll tell you what, again, you, you, you've echoed the comment of, I thought Neil uh, made a brilliant comment. I'm Neil. Yeah, you know, uh, Margot's. Yeah, yeah, but I'm fine. He's, listen, he, he couldn't have sung a penny better. You know, I'll just be very quick. Why is Carlos rock? Why did he not have a striker on the bench? Like, let's bring in like Devante Cole. He could, he could have played the ball, up. but the best one for me is using Wallace as a replacement for Fellows was a, was a no no. Now this is brilliant. But did he? Well, he this, appeared this, to be. Well, this is this is where I'm not too sure because did he bring Marky Johnson to play on the wing and then Wallace up front? Because don't get me wrong, Wallace can do a job up front. But I felt a lot of points. We went to a four four two formation, yeah, yeah, yeah. and the fact of that was don't even when you could play off them up top. Yeah. But then we're lacking a bit in midfield because I felt like we didn't have that presence up top to hold the ball and then yeah. play it off because that's what Madden was doing really well. Sorry to put it, Neil makes a brilliant point, right? Because he said, right, Johnson on for Fellows was probably a no no. Why didn't Dion, get Dion Garner get moved out to the right with Johnson playing behind Madger? And I think I think that's a brilliant one. I really, I really Mind do. you, I don't think Johnson has been as effective this season, has he? No, I, I think he's, you've got to give him the benefit of the doubt. I think he's got to have a settling in period because it's a, it, this is permanent, isn't it? Whereby before we could go back to back, back to Celtic. But again, the beautiful thing about um, Johnson, we know what he's capable of. Definitely. And we haven't seen the best of him. So it's a case of our player players or our game winners, they aren't they aren't on it. And I think that fella, hang on, I'm sorry, I so forget what it was. I think that fellows rock. We're relying too much on him. I just and I think the pressure's getting to him. I do because he can't continually get us out of jail. I wouldn't even say the pressure's getting to him. I would say the fact that teams are, as I always say, nerfing him out. The idea of he's not getting as many balls into boxes. He's not as effective as a player because people know what he's going to do and they put too many on him. A couple of things as well, shout out to the comments because I think they're brilliant. If people take the time to comment, then I think we should discuss yeah, it. Yeah, definitely. Larry, who's an Oxford fan, 
says we weren't arrogant because I said we were arrogant and he's quite right I got the word wrong a bit too complacent too overconfident and I think that that, that does sum us up but this, this is great to get a, a perspective from uh, an Oxford fan Ben the Oxford fan he's, he says West Brom are one of the best sides to visit so isn't it contrasting I think that it's all about expectations it is yeah and definitely I, think, I was going to ask as well sorry to put in go on about the ref I thought the ref was really not he was inconsistent. He was. And I'll tell you what made you know, me. He's better than the Saints, actually. You could tell from the first goal, because if you watch it back on what Hollis want to watch it on, I think there was a foul straight away on Furlong, I think it was. Then a foul on Siriki Dembele. And they're both a foul. I think they're both a foul. And he thinks to himself, right, then, benefit of doubt, I'm not going to give both of them as a foul. And from that, we score. So realistically, if there's better officiating, the goal doesn't happen. Yeah, I mean, you've got to be careful slating the officials, because, you know, it's, oh, it's, it, it, it's easy. I've, I've done the I referee, don't think he was the worst in the world, but I thought, like, as soon as you made a mistake, you want to kind of equate for both sides to make yeah. sure that everyone's happy. Yeah. And I felt that in that first half, there was a couple of times that I could see the Oxford fans weren't happy. And realistically, they thought they weren't going to benefit the doubt, were they? Well, Jude makes a, makes a comment on, on, on the vlog. He's an Oxford fan. And I actually think he makes a good point. But one thing I will say about, about the referee, isn't it funny that you come away in a white game and you after the match and you're walking down the street and you have a chat with the fans, which is ace, and away fans. And they were saying... Did we bring our own ref? Uh, and I thought the opposite. Really? Yeah. I could see where they were coming from, but then I could also see where we're coming yeah. from at the same time. But moving on to Blackburn, Dad. Yeah, so I, I, you know something? I, I actually think. I think we're going to click at Blackburn. Are we going for a score prediction already? Yeah. Go on then, what are you going for? I'm going for 3 1. 3 1. Yeah, I think, we, we, I think we're going to do it. Do you? Yeah, I do. I think that Carlos he hasn't had much time to prepare, but I think that the, the Albion players themselves. We'll think, you know, what? we could do a lot better than that. Because I remember at the start of the season, I think, you now the eggs on my face, by saying that Blackburn realistically were going to be struggling this season, they're going to go down. But they've brought in some good little players. I think Gwaib was a man they needed, a big striker, a big hold-up man, and he's looked really, really good. Um, I, I think, sorry to put it, I, I think, as I keep on saying, it's going to be a very, very long, hard season. It's going to be a season that's going to be judged on fine margins, good luck, bad luck, referee inconsistency. But don't forget, right, it's not the referee's fault if we don't put our chances away. Definitely. And I keep on saying, unless we're going to get clinical in that box, what's the point in making the chances? And I, I, some, I, 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 gotta, I was going to ask, can I just tell you this quote? Go on. It's, it, it, I don't think it's the Gazza, but Gazza's quoted on, on, on. on saying that Carlos is turning into Gareth Southgate. Stop messing about trying to walk the ball in. That sums Albion up really well. It does, yeah. They overplay. But we sorry, overplay. go on. I was going to ask, would you change anything for the game? Would you bring different players in? Because a lot of people have mentioned, I don't know who it was, someone mentioned to me they were bringing Holgate for a semi. Well, let's go for it, yeah, because, you know, you know Summer, it's, as I say, it's going to be a long odd season. Let's not keep on going with the tried and tested. Let, let's, let, let's get the players, the fringe players in, give them a go. Yeah, because I think realistically with Blackburn, don't get me wrong, they're a good side, but I don't think they've had a team realistically to compete against at the higher level of the championship. I'm not saying that we're always going to be there, but we're probably one of those teams at this moment in time. I don't think If I'm honest, I think we're going to struggle. I think it'll be a 1-1 draw. That'd be interesting. Just because I just don't think we're going to be at it again. I think there's something not quite right at the moment. And of course, Blackburn, we'd never seem to win there. And I feel yeah. like with them, we... I don't know what it is. We're going to struggle just because I think there's a bit of, what's it, motivation, but I think a lot of positivity at the moment, and that's the reason why. I think the fans may get on their backs, and we could realistically struggle against a team yeah, like Blackburn. Yeah, you know, Summer. No, I'm going to, I'm going to be positive. I think we'll, 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 we'll fix the mistakes. I think the players will respond. I hope you're right. I'll be honest. And I think we'll, we'll end up roasting the Rovers. Really? Yeah. I hope you're yeah, right. I, know, yeah. I think I do. I do think. I think if changes came into play, I think we could do a job. I think it's Akashi. I think the Japanese international who's literally come in. He's look amazing in midfield. He's replaced the Sammy Schmodix. Not as good as the highest level, <laughs> but he's look really good with them. Oh, I, and I think Ty, Tyree Sterling. I said Ty to you, Tyree Sterling. Remember him? Yeah. yeah I yeah, said. Yeah. I said to him. Uh, said to you, and not the um, what you call it season predictions. If he's playing really well, they do really they well. Fire then. And because he's scoring yeah, goals, they're doing you, really you're well. Absolutely right there. And I think that you know. It's, 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 it's really refreshing to you to say this and, uh, because I feel that, that John Uses, too, by the way, is doing a great job. Yeah, it's, 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 thanks for putting me off. <laughs> my, my sorry, side. sorry, go on. Is John Uses doing a good job? Is he? <laughs> not, yeah, he's not too is bad. He really? too bad yeah. I'm really pleased you mentioned right. that. Now then, you ready? I actually think that there's not too much difference between us and Blackburn Rovers. We're more or less a similar kind of 
Can't see that Yeah, yeah, I do. Yeah. Yeah. I do think I do like their keeper Andy Pears, but on his day he has a bit of a clangor here and there. So put a bit of pressure on him rather than playing it about and have to have a shot at a goal. We could hopefully do a job on yeah, them. No, I'm, I'm looking forward to. It. I think we've got again. This is a, the. There are plus and minuses with the with the championship. We've got a couple of days to sort it out, Definitely. ready for the weekend. Or it could mean that we get an un unwanted record and we come away with our tail between our legs. And, and it just astounds me, Rob, me, me, me in particular. We're only a couple of games in. I start to worry in January, February with, with the table. We're there or there. I wouldn't worry at the moment. We're in the opinion. chasing pack. I don't think we're playing that bad. I think there's nothing to worry about. I mean, guys, what are your score predictions for the game? It is going to be a tail, hey, in my you? opinion. What's your score prediction? As I said, it's going to be 1-1 one, one draw. 1-1 one, one draw? 1-1 one, one draw. I think we're going to struggle hard I'm going 3-1, big time. I hope you're right. Yeah. Um, guys, make sure that in the comment section down below, put your score predictions. And also, thank you so much as well for commenting on these videos. Really, really appreciate your support as always. And coming up to us, because there's some great interviews on the weekend. Yeah, it made my day. You know, a, 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 just one big football family I mean, I, some of the, the Albion fans well all of the Albion fans are great but by people taking the time to come up to, it makes it worthwhile exactly it? 100% yeah, and we're all we're all Albion daft at the end of the day aren't we? and again another shout out Jace Wheeler one man he is Jace 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 what's the what would you big Jace Wheeler is one of our own. own so yeah listen stay safe thank you for watching and, and shout out to Joel as well oh Joel's he's something else he's isn't quality Joel he's, what he, bloke he's is. the class act he's you have also got to give Jack Fellows a shout out. Jack Fellows, yeah. Lovely to see And Big Jack. And Big There's Jack so as many. Well. There's so many yeah. people. Yeah. And Josh and his dad. Mom. Josh's dad, thanks for the sausage drop. Oh yeah, exactly. Well, we'll have to give like a shout out of the week every week. I'll tell you what you've got to do as well. You've got to get in touch with Gary. Yeah, no, yeah. From the Gary from Cromley, from hopefully as well, yeah. Pond. Get in touch, guys, and we'll meet up, have a, have a cup of tea or something. Guys, thank you so much for watching. As always, make sure if you can to like and subscribe and comment down below your score prints. And as I said once again, Dad. I'm going 3-1. I'm going to go 1-1. What time is it? It's showtime!